Hello everybody, welcome to the Literal Gamer, Literal Gamer 81 channel. Today I am going to be showing you how you can homebrew your Nintendo DSi with Twilight Menu++. Plus Plus. So, what you'll need is your DSi, you'll also need a computer, and you'll need your an SD card. If you have a 16 gig, that's fine. A 32 gig might cause some problems with the files, and a 2 gig and a 4 gig, that, that, those SD cards are fine too. So, what you want to do, so... First, on your DS, you want to go over to your system settings. And on the top screen, on the bottom left, on the bottom right corner, it should say your version. Now, if you're in the United States, Europe, Japan, or Australia, you want to make sure you're on version 1.4.5. Now, if you're not on version 1.4.5, what you want to do is you want to go over to the third page, then click Internet. Then click connection settings, and here if you have like a, a WEP or a, or the internet connection without a password or an old internet connection, you want to choose one of these. If you have a new connection with uh, with a password, you want to click on advanced setup and click one of these connections, and search for an access point. And then it's going to show all the internet connections that are available. Let me just choose mine. Then you click OK. Click OK again. It's gonna add, it's gonna it's gonna ask you if you want to save these settings. So click OK. Then it's gonna say con connection settings have been saved. It's gonna ask you to begin the connection test. Click OK. It's gonna test your connection. And then if you have these like black bars up in the bottom right on the top screen, your internet connection test should be successful. And then it's going to say connection test successful. And you can click back. Now go over to the fourth page and click system update. It's going to ask you to connect to the internet and update your system. Click yes. And it's going to say this screen should pop up. Just click next. Click I accept and then click OK. And it's going to start updating. And you're going to want to wait for this like bar in the bottom to finish. And once that's done, like something like this should pop up. Now I'm already up to date, so this is showing. So you just want to click OK to whatever it says. And it's going to turn your DS off. And now when you turn it back on, and when you go back to the system settings, you should be on the latest version. So just go back to the system settings. And if you look up here again, you should be on the latest version. So you can turn your DS off. And we're going to take the SD card and put it in, in take and put it into our computer. So, once you've made sure that your DS is on the latest firmware, which is version 1.4.5, you want to take your SD card, you want to take your SD card and you want to put it into your computer, and then this folder should show up. What you want to do, you want to right click your SD card, and then click properties, and then right here, you want to make sure your file system is bat 32 If you have something like EXFAT or something else, what you want to do, you want to right click on your SD card, click format, and here you want to make sure you want to click here and click FAT32. Then click start, and it's going to warn you that it's going to erase all the data. Now, if you have like any files on here that you want to keep, I would recommend just like making a folder on your desktop and then dragging all your files in, in, onto, the, onto the folder. Make sure the folder on your desktop. And then just click OK. It's going to say format complete in a few seconds. You can close out of that. Now you're going to go to this Google Drive link, which I'll leave a link in the description to. And click download. It's going to say it's two Russian scan for viruses that I've made this myself, so there's no viruses. Just click download anyway. As you can see, 
there's no viruses, no shit spawn. Okay, so now, so now what you want to do, you open on your, you want to take this file, you want to drop it on your desktop, like close out of your browser, now right click it, and click extract to twilight menu plus plus. gonna take a little bit and now once that's done you can open that up and now you wanna right click on file explorer click file explorer and then click secure uh, just click your SD card and then you wanna select all of this all of these from the toilet menu folder and then, and then you just wanna drag it over to your SD card This is gonna take like about a minute or two. So I'll do that. It's finished. Now, if you go into the search GM9i, then out, there will be some like two ROMs and two saves, which are my ROMs that I've dumped with my saves. So, if you want to see how to, so I'll, I'll just leave these here so that you guys can use them if you don't want to get your own ROMs. And uh, in a later video, I'll also, I'll, I'll also be showing you how to play, um, how to dump your own ROMs or cartridges. So. So anyway, so now you can close out of this. So close out of both the files, and click, and then you just want to. So you want to click right here on Show Hidden Icons, and then click this like USB stick, and then click Eject or like whatever your SD card name is. Then you just want to pull your SD card out, and now you can go back to your DS to to back up your NAND, I guess. So once you've downloaded the the files. On the computer, and you put them on your SD card. You want to take your SD card. And you want to put it into your DS's, or, or you want to put it into your DS or DSI's SD card slot. And op open it back up. Turn it on. And then this time, you want to go into the camera app. Gonna say checking. And you want to click on SD card, click album, then your screen should like glitch out, and then you'll be booted in here. Now what you want to do here, is you want to go to fwtool.nds, press A, and then go down until it says backup DSI NAND. So right there, backup DSI NAND. We'll just focus. Backup DSI NAND, just click A, and it's gonna start backing up your NAND. And basically, what this is gonna do is like in case if something goes wrong, like um, like your system gets bricked, you can load in it. It you can load into like an app on your SD card, and then you could re and you could put your NAND back this NAND backup back on your on back onto your DS and unbrick your system. So I'm gonna so I'm gonna be back with you guys when this is finished. So once your NAND has finished backing up, on the top screen there should be this that says saved NAND.bin.sha1. So once you so once you done so once your NAND's back so once you've got that message, you know your NAND has finished backing up. You could just press down on the D-pad, then press A to exit, and now you can turn your DS off, close it, and now you could take your SD card. And, okay. and now we're going to put it back into our computer. So we'll see you then. So once your DSI's NAND has finished backing up, you want to take your SD card and put it back into your computer. Don't make that noise. And then here you should have this folder that says FW and then there's going to be like a bunch of numbers and letters. So what you want to do, you want to click it, then right click it, then click cut. And then on your desktop, just right click, click new. And then folder 
and here you could make a folder name. So I'm so I'm just gonna name this NAND uh, backup. Click enter, and then click, then open your NAND backup folder. Well, this folder that you made on your desktop, whatever you called it, and then right click in the folder, click paste. And then your NAND backup is going to paste is going to go into this folder that we just made. It took about five seconds. And once that's done, close. You can close out of the folder that you just made, and you can close out of your SD card. And now we're going to eject the SD card. Now we're going to take our SD card and put it back into our DS. So I'll see you there. So now that we've taken our NAND backup from our SD card and put it onto our computer, what you want to do is you want to take your SD card, put it back into your DSi, and then turn it back on. And we're going to go back into the camera app. And say checking again. Again, you want to click SD card and album. And then this time, well, this is optional, but if you want to boot quickly into Twilight Menu, which is what we're installing today, if you want to boot quickly into it, what you want to install Unlaunch. So that's what we're going to do right now. So you just scroll all the way down until you get to unlaunch.nds, press A, and this should pop up on the top screen. I'm going to scroll down until it says install now. Now, um, you want to make sure you have charge on your DS. Now, if you don't, you, you could just keep it plugged in. But you want to click install now. It's going to say installation complete. And then you press the power button. It should boot you straight into unlaunch. So now what you want to do, if you want to boot directly into Twilight Menu every, sing every, day, every single time you power on your DS, you want to scroll down to options, press A. Press A again on no button, and then scroll down until you see Twilight Menu plus plus. So press A, and then scroll down here, save and exit. Press A. Now when you power back, <coughs> sorry. Now, sorry. Uh, now when you power your DS back on, you should get this on the top screen. But on bottom screen, it's gonna say touch the touch screen to continue. You can just press A, and then this little video is gonna pop up. Now, this is um, the Twilight Menu, but if you've been up to date with the Twilight Menu, you might know that this is a, an older version, and this is not the latest version. Now, the reason why I'm installing an uh, uh, older version is because we're going to be doing some things in, in, in some future videos. We're going to be like installing some games or ROM hacks, and we need this old version because the new versions are just not compatible. So, anyways, thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed. If you if you enjoyed, leave a like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps me out a lot. See you in the next video.